Hi everyone, I'm Rlov and I'm excited to introduce the first public release of the Makira Cam software. Now in this video, I'll just provide a basic overview of all the current features and functions that you can expect from the beta version of this cam. There will be many more versions in the future and we will create videos for those too. Now I'm not going to do a project in this video, I'm just going to show you how to set them up. And now that we have this cam available, we will be focusing on creating a playlist of tutorials so you can learn and become a professional using your Carvera machine. So keep an eye on your email for the download instructions and let's get started. So here is the interface. Um, this is obviously where you can move around the window. It's a 3D space, this visual representation. So you can, um, using shift and middle mouse, but um, little wheel of your mouse you can you can rotate the part um, and view it in 3d if you just want to see the top you can use this too to rotate around so just top um, if you're doing 2d work you're basically just going to use this um, and at the top here is basically just your toolbars everything that you see in this toolbar is also in this toolbar so um, these are the main functions that you'll use this is just the file settings this is creating a new one opening existing saving save as um, this is your import section so importing an image importing a vector importing a 3d model and importing a pcb if you're unsure about any of these things you could just hold your mouse on or your cursor on the on the button and it'll give you a description of what that is so here's some modifiers to copy paste um, delete um, adjusting an object something that you import you can transform mirror create um, you've got some basic create tools you can create a circle or a rectangle um, if you need to um, and then you have some other things here too like adjusting an image um, tracing an image and actually getting lines from a um, from an image and information of an image um, and then center to center for alignment purposes um, here you have your milling operations um, for a vector so just a line so if you have a contour pocket drilling um, we're still working on this function um, this is the other functions this is the th uh, 3d model tool path that we that is not in this version but we are still working on that then we have your rotation your fourth axis that's not in this version also but you can expect that very soon um, and then you have the laser path function which you can use um, already so you there's you can either import an image to populate a, a image and create like a full um, laser image from a face or some image that you have or you can just use it as um, a vector so just um, uh, using the laser on lines and this is the export tool so this is to export your g-code um, yeah you'll see the path here like all your tool paths will show up here and then that will show up here too and you can select them um, as you need to export them here's some more um, zoom function zoom in zoom out so this is just uh, your uh, left mouse button click options active is mostly used because of the shortcuts you can rotate basically using the active too um, if you want to pan you can select pan and then you can just move the object around um, and then if you want to rotate you can also use this to rotate this but the shortcut is the shift and the middle mouse button so basically left click to to look around in active view um, that selects um, the left click would select and um, and to you can use control and middle um, wheel as well to to pan around um, and then the to zoom just use your mouse in and out so this 3d space um, this is the stock material, this gray square that you see here, or block of material that you see here. So if I modify this, you'll see that'll update. And now it's thicker, now it's turned to 20 mil. So basically this is your stock setup. Um, very easy, very simple. Um, you can edit it with whatever size you need it to be. Um, and here you can change the material. There's no settings to this material. This is basically only changing the, uh, the image and do to modify this, you can go to your material library and you can add materials here, um, remove or move around. And basically you just um, create a new one. So you add a new material, whatever the name is, import an image and apply that and it will show up on this drop down. Um, yeah, so that's the stock setup and this is the coordination system and also like your layers. Um, so basically you can set up a different coordination system. So if you're doing double sided work, um, you can add this, you can rename this. If I edit this, maybe call this a top coordination system. Then I can also add another coordination point, which might be bottom. 
and then what it'll, what you'll do is you'll actually use if you flip the board maybe this way it depends on which way you're flipping it then you can select that as the origin for the bottom so that get that gives you some opportunities to do double-sided work as top and bottom um, we also will create the option to to make the side um, but we don't have this origin um, worked out yet but that's also something you can expect from future from future versions so i'll just stick to top for now and let's import some some work so basically you can import an image um, let's just take this image as an example this is just a black and white image um, there's no information on this there's no lines on this this is just an image um, if i click on it and hit m i can move this around um, so basically to move you can you can um, use this to move the part around um, now I'm moving this corner of the part and if I want to set this up um, let's just see the size of this thing my stock is 210 by 210 so if I want to um, scale this and I want to change the the Y to 200 and I link XYZ wait let me just undo that Modify that again. I want to zoom. I'll link this and I'll change this to 200. Then all of the other uh, X and the Z would um, modify with it. So then I can move this around and I'll put this here. But I know this is 210 stock here. So if I give this five more here, if I give this five more here. Then we're looking good you can also rotate here your, your your 3d model or whatever part it is at the, this current version doesn't you can import the 3d model but you can't really do anything with that yet um, what a cool feature we also have just from a picture is that you can right click on your picture as long as the contrast is decent um, and the quality of the image is quite high um, then you can get a lot of information from this by tracing an image so here we've got some settings. I'm going to lead, delete the image after tracking. So there we have lines that I can actually use to create toolpaths with. Now, this is uh, there's an outside double line. Maybe I'll just delete one of this. Just hit delete on the keyboard. Um, and then from this, you can create toolpaths. So I'm not going to create a full toolpath. I'm just going to show you some functions. So it's easy as selecting that. Um, Say, uh, say I am engraving this, then I'll probably use a um, a pocket, and then here is a this is the, this is how you set up the the job. Um, so the depth um, that I'll use for this pocket um, is 0.5 millimeters. Save Z positions has already been set up. Um, here's a tool list. This is. The tools that you see here, this is a nice function about um, about this cam as well. These are actually the tools that you will use to create this pocket in this in this um, in this area here. So if I if I delete this, and that's a two mil corn bit, um, and I calculate it, now it's just using the two. It's just using that um, that corn bit. So, but if I add if I add another tool, let's say corn bit, let's say a, sh a small corn bit, 0.6 corn bit, and it needs to look, it first looks at the two mil, and then it looks at the 0.6 corn bit. And then if I calculate this again, you'll see it, it looks at that tool first. So it will, you can save a lot of time when you're doing like clearing of, of, um, of some material. It'll look at the big bit first, and then it will do automatic tool change to the second one. Um, as long as the tool number is set up correctly. So currently both of them is set to three. Here you can see on this tool part, both of them is set to three. So let's say the two millimeter will be tool one and the 0.6 will be tool number two. So it looks at both of that. Here's some path strategies that you can play around with. If you're using inside out or um, outside in, you can also do milling like this, or you can just use the contour as a guide, which is offset. Um, cutting direction here, you can modify that depending on your um, uh, your needs. And if I calculate this, it'll say tool one, tool two, pocket, and it's as simple as it is as simple as hitting export. This is now just for this. This is not the full file. Obviously, if you're doing the full file, you'll select everything, do the same process again. Um, but if I export this, there's my tool um, or that specific job just for that M export, and then you'll 
it'll show up wherever you need to wherever you need to save it it's as simple as that then you have some other options also that was the pocket uh, operation um, you also have your contour which uh, which has a few functions depending on your material depth um, if your material depth is 10 millimeter you want to cut just a little bit through it so I'll put my I'll put my start depth at zero and my end depth at 10.1 um, then you can put in your safe positions that's already been set up here I'll choose a tool and I will just use maybe a, a flat end non-metal just a normal end mill for plastic depending on what material you're using um, choose that and then you have an inch inside option if this is an outside cut then you'll use the outside option if you milling for say example you actually milling the inside of this through the material you'll use this as an inside cut and if you're doing maybe some uh, maybe just some engraving on the border or on this line then you'll use it on vector now, on vector also you can use it for like chamfering um, so each of these has got got a reason for them to a cutting direction you can change that too here you can add some tabs as well um, so if, here I can add tabs and clear them as well um, there's still some strategies on the tabs that we're working on but we'll get them sorted as as soon as possible um, yeah so that's that's the vector that's the uh, that's the vector contour option and then you also have what's the other option tool path you can laser you can laser this too um, you can also use the top uh, features here to do the vector pocket. This is just a shortcut. Um, so let's just clear this. I'll just delete this for now. Um, I'll delete this too. So that was uh, that was importing an image. So you can see you can get a lot of information off an image. If it's a DXF, um, for example, something like this. You know then you won't really scale your part this is a drone frame um, so here you can just modify your material whatever it is put it in there so basically the same thing will will happen if you just import a DXF you just won't probably scale it you'll probably just um, modify the the size of your material so you see all the information that you can get off here um, I like to import my DXF with a border um, maybe like with the stock size already um, so the stock size is two, three, five in X, two, three, five, and two, zero, five. If I update that and I'll select this again and I make this zero and zero, I screwed up one size, 53, 53, okay. Then the stock is exactly the border, so you don't really have to do anything with the border of this of this file. But you know everything's in here. You can still move around certain parts if you need to. Um, yeah, and and you can you can create things on this too. If you have like a piece of off cut, you can put a diameter or something, put a rectangle here too if you need to. Um, but you can use this for different different reasons. Um, so yeah, so basically that is importing a DXF. Let's just go back to top. Let's delete these again. Then you can import a you can import a 3D model. Um, like I said, you can import them now, but you can't really do anything with it. So you can't really do anything with it now, but we are working on the function to do that. And then also you can do PCBs. Um, so for example, if you just import uh, the bottom layer and now say example this is this is PCB and we this is a 1.5 board okay so obviously you can position this as you need to um, but then this is a good thing for a double-sided PCB you can use the bottom and then import Import. I I select the bottom now, but let's say okay. This is this the top, open, and then this will actually be mirrored. So if you actually flip the board, you have some alignment pins. Then you can you can use this feature as a double-sided feature too. So 
you, you can you can use that there's another video on this that goes into detail about all these features um, but for now I'm just gonna keep this this video simple um, so let's go back to the top another cool feature that we have here is if I import a drill file for PCBs you see I'll import the file as a single drill file but the cam would recognize each different hole as a, as a different size and it will actually um, use that and split them up between the different size holes so it automatically detects that um, which is a which is a cool function obviously um, this will this will be a drill um, a drill vector drilling so it will look at so basically if I would like to I can choose the tool here um, and you can you can kind of align your tools as a 0.3 millimeter bit as a 0.5 as a 0.6 as a 0.7 as a one mole um, depending on your needs yeah so this is a neat feature um, of just drilling and how you, how it looks at separate um, how it looks at the separate holes when you import it so let's calculate you kind of see that it mulls through the material I didn't even adjust this it's 1.7 1.5 yeah, so happy with that. You can see, but that's now just looking at the 0.2, um, 0.2 drill bit. So it will be milling all the holes. So you can kind of select them each. So if you just select this one, you can obviously hide some of them if you don't want to see them. Hide the tool path now. So you can easily hide them, select all of them, and then put your tool to that specific hole. Yeah, and that is that is the that is the features about the PCB um, maybe something else we can just look at is the laser function let me just bring in maybe like something like this select it hit M on the keyboard I'll put this in its position and now if I want to laser this onto something or I want to laser a jig for this or something like that then you just select everything that you want lasered like that just by holding shift as well if you select some of these hit shift select the rest of them or just select everything you can right click uh, right click toolbar laser path laser uh, vector because this is a vector and then here you can change your settings and this will be laser just change the name and you can run down and do change all the settings here you can also put an offset to it um, to the inside or to the outside um, yeah and hit calculate and then that will show up as your laser path um, it doesn't show any depth um, but you can change the settings and the power and the speed change everything here um, one more thing we can look at is also the picture in gray the picture um, of the laser laser path so basically if I import a picture here let's use this one again let's go to top view hit this as long as your stock is big enough let's just scale this down It's the laser path if you want to laser this text on um, on whatever material you'll just select the tool path laser path and laser image and then here's some settings as well you might need to modify it specific on this uh, on the specific material um, let's call this image laser and then speed power um, forward negative branch you can change the settings here as you need to you can also scan it at an angle um, but zero just works kind of kind of well and just calculate that and then you'll see it shows up here as an image it looks exactly like the image so I'll just delete the old if I delete this image you'll see it looks the same so basically I can export this as a single file to as an image laser export that and that will be our G code for doing images with a laser. So very simple, um, very easy, um, just another thing to keep in mind and you can use as a very useful tool. And one last thing we can look at is just the, the tool library. Um, 
basically here um, I touched on that quickly but you can see all the example tools have already been set up here all your flat ends that's available on our store is set up here um, all the engraving bits is set up here um, and they all have breakdowns you can kind of look at them there's for metal there's for non-metal single flute metal non-metal corn bits ball nose is also set up here and all your different drills now you can add more categories to this by just adding something here new group um, you can duplicate a, a specific one and modify it you can delete a specific group here um, and then you can import and export your files here too um, you can also to use a use a existing drill and um, copy it duplicate it and then edit uh, that tool um, or you can just add a tool from from scratch um, here you can copy the tool paste the tool and also delete the tool and a nice feature about this cam is that we have set up all the materials for you so basically let's just take a let's just take a normal end more for example now we've set up the feed rates the step over the spindle speed and the step down for each of the materials already so if you're using corn bits you can see it's for PCB carbon fiber and all the settings has been updated here if you're doing engraving for a certain in a certain material then you can just select the tool and all the settings is already set up for that tool so it's quite quite helpful um, obviously if you have some custom tools that you that we don't sell on the store then you can just um, you can just add them manually so yeah this is a this is a cool thing about this cam um, you don't have to upload this this is already on on the on the cam software there's also the machine profiles everything is already loaded to the machines you don't have to worry about any of those yeah so and then exporting is as simple as just selecting the file and exporting um, we tried to get this as simple as possible um, for for easy use um, for beginners and even for people with some experience just to use this for you know quick quick files that you have to run on the machine that's not too complicated um, obviously when we introduce the 3d toolpaths and the fourth axis then it's going to get a little bit more complicated but we, we strive to keep it as simple as possible um, and this is just the basic overview like I said we will go into a lot more detail at a later stage and we will do some projects on this and we will we'll show you exactly how to do that and how to set up jobs um, how to set up the stock and how to get perfect operations milling operations on your machine so I hope this you find this helpful and um, uh, we're excited to have you try our new cam Thank you very much.